This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, February the 18th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in, and let's get right to the weather, which is active today. There's a look at our Skycam image from Gadsden, and kind of an interesting shot with the sun peeking through that little spot of a cloud-free area there, so we get a little uh, idea of the sun rising in the eastern sky. And over Demopolis, we're looking off to the west, and uh, we can see the clouds invading the area from the west and from the southwest. On radar, we have a mass of rain off to our west and southwest. That rain will be moving in across the area uh, later today and into the overnight hours. Flash flood watch in effect for generally uh, the southern half of the state of Alabama down across the Montgomery area. Big culprit is a surface low that is forming in the northwestern Gulf right along the Gulf Coast. It'll be moving up across central Alabama uh, later today and into the overnight hours and early Sunday. In the upper atmosphere, we've been watching this trough off to the west and it is finally beginning to kick out. And of course, that is helping to generate the surface low over the northwestern Gulf. Temperatures across the area are very mild for this time of year. As you can see, those uh, very warm temperatures along the Gulf Coast and uh, actually uh, pretty warm up into Tennessee and parts of Oklahoma for this time of year. Looking a little closer to our area, we can see actually we have a little bit of a wedge going on here. Uh, look at that 36 at Fort Payne and 52 down at Birmingham. So the evidence there that a little bit of a wedge is going on. Uh, we have to be watching that to see how that develops, but we do expect uh, warming to occur across the area from the south. On our watch warning map, of course, uh, we have a number of flash flood watches and flood watches in effect across areas of uh, eastern Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and uh, Alabama. In addition to that, there are some winter storm um, watches up into the uh, the um, southern Appalachians, and we do have some winter storm advisories in the northern Rockies as well. The big thing is uh, rain, and it looks like this is going to be quite a soaker uh, with uh, on the order of probably one to three inches across the southern part of uh, central or the southern part of Alabama. For our area, it looks like probably on the order of uh, oh about three quarters of an inch to perhaps an inch and a quarter uh, for the area with the gradient being or the change being from north to south. Storm Prediction Center is out looking a slight risk across the southern third of the state of Alabama, as well as a, a lot of the Gulf Coast region, all the way from Apalachicola across New Orleans, Mobile, New Orleans, uh, Lake Charles, over to the Houston area. And then on day two, which would be uh, Sunday into early Monday morning, we see the slight risk shifts to primarily uh, the northern half of the Florida Peninsula, as well as a, a good portion of southeastern Georgia. All right, let's get to the uh, 06Z GFS model run this morning. And, and here is uh, the GFS, and it is uh, showing the rain moving into uh, parts of Louisiana and Mississippi and holding off. This is at uh, essentially noon, so holding off for the afternoon for us. If we take an intermediate time, and this will be at midnight, you can see that the surface low is up over Alabama and Mississippi. And indeed, we have seen the rain invade the area. So it uh, looks like the primary instability will be along the Gulf Coast. And let's take a look very quickly. Uh, the European, in very good agreement with the GFS, uh, it looks like perhaps the low is just a little bit uh, stronger on the European, but the position is not uh, in bad uh, uh, I mean, the positions are, are in fairly good agreement with those. Let's take a very uh, quick look here at uh, a look at the instability and the helicity, the turning of the wind. And uh, let's, the instability here, this is an uh, off model that ru is run by the Storm Prediction Center. And you can see the bulk of uh, most of the instability is being held off in the Gulf of Mexico. So indeed, and this is at uh, midnight tonight. So you can see that that's being held off the uh, the uh, uh, helicity is uh, just kind of what we've been seeing uh, and have seen a good deal of so far this year, where the instability is just not there, uh, but the shear is. And uh, indeed, uh, shear values are very respectable, with uh, values anywhere from about 300 to 700 across much of the southeastern U.S., but the instability is certainly down in the Gulf, so those uh, not coming into very good agreement 
So it looks like uh, the threat is uh, along the Gulf Coast where the Storm Prediction Center uh, has outlooked. All right, looking at the upper atmosphere for Sunday at midday, uh, the trough uh, is coming by, so it looks like we should be uh, ending any precipitation pretty much during uh, midday on Sunday. And uh, so there you go. Here comes the, the rain is, is ending, and the surface low is now over Georgia and South Carolina. Let's take another intermediate time. This is uh, midnight Sunday night or very early Monday morning, however you want to look at it. The surface low now well out into the Atlantic, and uh, we're seeing a clearing trend. The uh, high comes in over us uh, Monday, so that means we should see a nice return to uh, sun uh, over over the area. But keep in mind for for the day on Monday, it looks like we probably are not going to see much in the way of a temperature change in terms of uh, very little change. That is, temperatures remaining steady in the, in the 50s, primarily uh, lower and mid-50s. With, uh, with the ridge over us, uh, of course, uh, that means two, uh, Monday should also be a very uh, nice day in terms of uh, pl plenty of sunshine. Tuesday, uh, we see that uh, we, we kind of have almost a split flow. That is, there's a very active flow across the Ohio River Valley, and uh, we're still in a strong southerly flow, uh, zonal flow here, and that little trough that's moving through the Ohio River Valley with the second one coming into the western Great Lakes, that is probably going to produce uh, no precipitation here, but probably produce some clouds. And you can see the GFS suggesting that the precipitation, bulk of the precipitation will be up from the from about the Tennessee-Kentucky border uh, northward. When we get to Wednesday at midday, uh, that uh, second trough is becoming the dominant feature, and uh, that uh, is helping to uh, rearrange the flow and giving us a little bit more of a southwesterly flow, which is a little more moisture. And perhaps we might see a small chance of uh, some precipitation on Wednesday. But I think for now, I'm going to leave Wednesday somewhat dry and just, you know, for us and just um, go with some clouds. But we'll see how that pans out. The flow stays somewhat split thanks to that closed low over um, northern Mexico. And uh, that, that thing is uh, helping to keep us primarily under a, a bit of a zonal flow as, as the main uh, westerlies are much too much further to our north, and then uh, we're beginning to see some things uh, congealing by Friday, and of that, of course, means that uh, we have a change coming, and that is, first of all, the 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 closed low over northern Mexico is coming out as an open trough, and that's in the northwestern Gulf, and you can certainly see that clearly, and that will be responsible for another pattern that kind of looks like the one we're dealing with today with a surface low probably over the northwestern Gulf of Mexico as well, with rain over much of the southeastern U.S. So it looks like Friday could be another somewhat wet day. But, of course, we're, we're kind of edging out there. That's a good, almost a, you know, only a day away from voodoo country. By Saturday, a week from today, the trough has really sharpened up quite a bit on the east coast. And, of course, what that means for us is we should be seeing some colder air coming in as well as the precipitation ending. And we should, uh, you know, maybe we won't be getting out of the clouds completely, but certainly uh, that uh, should be ending the precipitation for us uh, with some wraparound, uh, looks like some wraparound snow possibly going on for the southern Appalachians. And I'm, I'm sure that the, the snow resorts up there will appreciate that. Uh, and indeed, the, the European is in fairly good agreement, uh, especially when you look at the uh, 540 thickness. Perhaps the European is actually just a hair further to the south. Uh, the GFS uh, brought the 540 line down into the vicinity of about Coleman, whereas the European bringing the 540 line down into the vicinity of Tuscaloosa. So at least, uh, at, at least reasonably good agreement with that. Uh, when you get out seven days, that uh, gives the confidence pretty good there. All right, let's go out to Voodoo and uh, the pattern. Uh, the big thing is the pattern staying pretty mild for us. Uh, you can see a pretty zonal flow across the southern tier of the United States uh, around Wednesday the 29th. So we end February on a somewhat mild note. And then finally way out, and this is the 4th of March. Uh, indeed, with a pattern like that, if this definitely comes to fruition, we see a nice southwesterly flow. So it looks like March enters somewhat as a lamb and not as a lion. That is, no roaring cold temperatures appear likely at the moment. 
Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. I hope that you have a great Saturday and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.